Why? Because he disappeared for 10, 15 years. You haven't heard from him from a long time. And he now has the right to headline Coachella. Yo, 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 yo. Yo, it's your boy Luce. I got my boy DZ. We are the Levi's Wise Guys. Check out the full podcast. Link below. Are mystical artists given too much credit? Mystical. Mystical. I ain't talking about mystical the rapper. I'm talking about mysterious artists. They use it as a marketing ploy. It becomes part of their brand. Everybody knows an artist that they don't know nothing about, but they love their music. And that feeds into why they like them a lot. Whether it's Beyonce, uh, The Weeknd, Early Weeknd. Mm -hmm. Mostly Early Weeknd. Early Weeknd was weird as hell, bro. He was. Frank Ocean. Okay. Another guy. Okay. Andre 3000. Bro, people don't know nothing about Andre 3000. Mm-hmm. He just goes off in the in the dust. Mm-hmm. Jay Electronica. I've never seen somebody so hyped. With all due respect. Here we go. Jay Electronica Here we go. is probably the, the most like mysterious person in the last 10 years in hip-hop. Bro, he dropped like one song. Exhibit C. One song made people be like, yo, <laughs> yo this, this guy, guy is the greatest. greatest. And he didn't drop another song for eight years. But you get what I mean. I get what you're saying. The mysteriousness. Kendrick, Kendrick Lamar is mysterious too. Kendrick Lamar. He just drops his albums and goes away. I think th- that's this is a good segue. So I want to know what you think, man. Like, can everybody pull off mysteriousness? And also just, bro, is mysteriousness overrated, man? Like, do we well, really just want to know who these people are in, this, in reality? In this day and age, you know, there's there's this hot topic going on in the sports world about, you know, Michael Jordan, uh, whether or not he would survive in this era of social media players are covered yeah and they were like because michael ja- michael jordan had a gambling problem was not necessarily the nicest guy bro i heard michael like, jordan i heard michael he's jordan. teammates i mean he's done all this stuff that a lot of these artists uh these uh nba players have done, are, are getting scrutinized for facts michael jordan has done right and i think that same kind of logic should be you know applied to today because back in the day we knew mysterious you can be mysterious it's all good you come back whenever you want to come back like it back in the day it was like drop your album go away for a couple years then when you come back that's your big comeback usher did it every single time he just kept going away come back i'm coming back with, uh, with a potential baby he goes away then comes back i'm married now and then when the album comes back he's getting divorced like he came back with some story every single time because you didn't know what was happening in between those albums, hey, right? Unfortunately, and sometimes remember he had. I was gonna say, and sometimes it was negative. Remember that Don? They, he, said, he came I, back I, and they, he somebody said, said he had. A, he had. A, somebody gave him an STD. Yeah, that was weird. But you know, I just think in today's age is the question: Does having those gaps where people don't necessarily know what's going on um, work? In, in in my opinion, music has to. If you're an artist, you have to drop music quicker than you've ever had to as an artist like if you go away for a year that's a long time in today's age you can't just go away for a year and not feature on somebody's song uh not put out a social media post or anything people just kind of gravitate to someone else we weren't doing that back in the day but these days people are just being like oh you're not gonna come out all right in the meantime i'll listen to this you bring up guys like our andre 3000 who Andre 3000 was able to accomplish a lot before he started be- disappearing. And then he just became, that was his brand. So I think Andre 3000 gets a pass because that was his brand. I my whole The whole reason you like me is because I'm mysterious and I drop verses. So I don't necessarily have much of an issue. I know you might rant about it. Frank Ocean, I have an issue with. Frank Ocean, who, by the way, let me get my Stephen A. Put the camera on when I say when I say what I'm about to say. Let me say this about Frank Ocean first. Great artist. Channel Orange was a classic. Nobody's debating with you that Channel Orange is not a classic. Super Rich Kids, all that good songs on that album. I'm thinking of the album. What's the uh, EP he put out with the BMW on the no, cover? That's, no, that's Nostalgia. Nostalgia. That was a great one. That's the one that had Thinking of You. Oh man! No, no, no. And um, there Nova you King, go. Yes, yes. Fire. Yes, fire. So Frank Ocean was flames those first couple of times he came out. Super rich kids, like I said, bad religion. But 
he hasn't necessarily dropped in 10 years 10 years and not only has he not dropped he hasn't said anything on social media he hasn't said anything he hasn't done appearances as much we don't even know what frank ocean looks like i don't know if he has braids i don't know if he's aging i don't know if he has gray hair frank ocean has fully disappeared from the music scene i don't even know why what what bothers me about frank ocean and this going back to the whole mystique thing is frank ocean is heralded because you can sometimes be mystique and people are giving you credit for that people are giving frank ocean credit for disappearing in my opinion he's dropped two two albums in two ten, in 10 years no, why is there mystique why is there this such big oh frank ocean's legend frank ocean's amazing 10 years two albums and i can argue i love channel orange the other blonde one i i i i can't tell you a single song from that album bro i listened to it i didn't like it if i'm right? being nice i'll say blonde wasn't for I me i didn't like it. but i'll go a step further and i'll say like blonde wasn't like even it. good i didn't like it and why is he headlining coachella why Because he disappeared for 10, 15 years. You haven't heard from him from a long time. And he now has the right to headline Coachella. So we, do you know who headlined Coachella day two? Bad Bunny, who has been amazing for the last 10, 15 years, yep. five years, whatever. Even longer. Another headliner, even longer. My thing is, I feel like he gets credit for disappearing, for being a mysterious figure. Yo. I don't ever want to give credit to that. I'm glad you got that ish off. That you, you, somebody, I'm, I'm gonna be real somebody with you. Somebody has to say, this. I'm gonna be real with you. I don't hear enough people having this discussion about the fact that output matters. Yes, bro. What you put out, how much product you give to the people matters. He's but, given his fans nothing, nothing. He's given his, his fans nothing Yo, in bro. 10 years. I'm gonna be real Why with you. Why is he headlining Coachella? I'm gonna give you a good example, right? Come it's gonna up, tie it home. This is we watch the NBA playoffs these days, right? Mm -hmm. In sports, but in particular, NBA, one thing nobody, a stat nobody gives enough credit for is someone's ability to qualify for a stat. Mm. You know, a lot of Preach. times when they say, Oh, well this person averages 30 points a game. Okay. Averaging 30 points a game over the course of an entire season is way different. And I'll give way more credit to that as opposed to averaging 30 points over five games. Mm. Well said. Bro, well said. you have to qualify. Mm -hmm. And I equate what I just said to longevity. I don't care that you dropped a phenomenal project 10 years ago, but you ain't dropped another one since. Bro, that don't mean more than somebody who been dropping consistently over that same mm -hmm. stretch and maybe doesn't have a classic like you have. Bro, that means something. Which is why, and that's why I always have a problem with Andre 3000. This is my personal opinion. I respect Andre 3000 as a, as a rapper. I think he's incredible. I think he, this shit is top tier. As a solo rapper, which I believe is really when people started talking about Andre 3000 as a rapper and how amazing he was. Yeah, and Outkast, everybody thought he was amazing. But as a solo rapper, when he started putting out, when he put out Love Below, obviously it was more R&B. But when he started putting out verses featuring on other people's. People really started giving him credit. But it wasn't because he was putting out solo music that to me should qualify him for a discussion when we start talking about top five rappers. Mm. Mm. This is my personal opinion. I, mm. Listen, I get it. Ill-advised take. This is a hot take. I felt some type of way about his name being mentioned. Mm. I feel some type of way when when someone hasn't put in the longevity required to qualify for mm. certain discussions. So now, to me, going back to Frank Ocean, now the question becomes: Should he be headlining Coachella in the first place? It no. sounds like you're saying hell no. So why is he? What? Okay, let's be objective here. Mm. What, why do people like Frank Ocean enough to where people are buying Coachella tickets to see him as a headliner? Why is that? Has he bamboozled us? Which he's bamboozled the fans. <laughs> Frank Ocean is an amazing artist. Amazing artist. Yeah. Great singer. Excellent writer. He's just different. What he was able to bring to the, to the industry. But like as fans, this is not even his fault. This is the fans' fault. The fans should want better. The fans should not be drooling over a dude, right, that we don't even know if his sound will fit in 2023. Nah, he will. 
We don't know. No, no. We don't know. Don't know. We right. said the same thing. Who? So somebody was Lauren Hill. Okay. Lauren Hill came out with I wouldn't Barbara. know what she would sound like. We don't know. No, but here's why Here's why I would say if I'm a betting man, I would say if Frank Ocean drops music, why it would fit is because as much as we're talking about Frank Ocean right now, the one thing I will give him is the music outside of Blonde because I think the joint garbage. He makes timeless sounding music. Okay. He does. So does. The, if you go back and listen to Channel Orange, you go back and listen to anything, I bro, the joint love, sounds fresh. But you have to be... He Polo G recently said, I actually don't really enjoy making music that much because I have to go back in time when I felt a certain feeling. Yeah. Sometimes I don't want to go back to that. So we're assuming when Frank Ocean was in that pocket, his life looked completely different. His life was odd future. He was hanging out with Tyler the Creator and them. And then he was in a pocket where nobody even knew he was gay. He announced it on Channel Orange. You know what I'm saying? Forrest Gump. Forrest, Forrest Gump. Gump joint. We don't know what this version of Frank Ocean, after the fame, after he probably went to all kinds of parties, mm. we don't know if he would be capable of dropping something. And I think here's a perfect, perfect person to, to compare. Rihanna. Rihanna, if I were to bet on it, I think Rihanna absolutely can be successful, even though she has not dropped an album in five, six, seven years. So you know why? Because Rihanna has been consistently been on social media. Rihanna has gotten a good gauge of the fans. Rihanna is culture. She's been moving culture since day one. And then number two, Rihanna's working with a whole bunch of different people on her albums. So like she's going to make sure that the people around her are going to make sure she puts out the best product. Frank Ocean a good chunk of the stuff he's doing, I'm sure, is him. I love Frank Ocean. There's no guarantee he's going to still be Frank Ocean of old. Hey, yo, listen. I'm People be, are holding on to stuff from 10 years ago. I, maybe you're right. Maybe you're not right. Again, I'm hanging on the fact that I believe he makes timeless sounding music when he does drop, which is not frequently at all. So we'll see. We'll see. I, I don't know. But one thing I will say is fans are going to be disappointed no matter what. For sure. Because there's nothing For that sure. that man can drop in 2023, that people are going to be like, it's better than Channel Orange. Channel Orange. He, he, that they was, won't say That it. was lightning in a bottle. But I will say this about Frank Ocean. You know why I think Frank Ocean still gets all the hype? Mm -hmm. Because Frank Ocean is one of the only artists nobody sounds like. People have tried to imitate Frank Ocean and just cannot. Frank Ocean is legit one of a kind. He's one of one. Let's do this. Let's do this <laughs> exercise. What was the last, last time you heard Frank Ocean? The, a song? Last from, him. from a song. We could look this up, but there's a song he dropped called Provider. Provider. I don't know if you know was the joint. The Neptunes? Was it Neptunes? No, I thought it was dope. What year? If I'm not mistaken, I believe it was 2017 or 2018. Really? I swear. That recent? <laughs> that was six years ago. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say the last Frank Ocean Let me song look this up, man. I heard was... <laughs> Remember Frank Ocean was on Jay-Z's album a couple of times? Jay-Z's, what was it, 4, 4, 4 44? He was on two songs on that Jay Z album. That was the last time I heard from Frank Ocean. But that's different. I thought that the discussion. I thought the discussion was his actual his song? own song. Oh. When has he dropped a song his himself? Last song that's what was we were talking biking. about. Remember biking? I'm um, biking. Tyler the Creator and Jay Z were on the song. That was 2012. Was the last time I heard a Frank Ocean song. Provider came out 2017. Like I was saying. Damn, that's close. That, uh, yeah, that's great. Uh, I take back everything I, I said. I love that. Song. It was only six years ago. I think Frank Ocean, he's a he's one of one. It's hard to even achieve that. However, output and your consistency slash longevity. You know what? I believe should actually be heavy, more heavily weighted than it is. Fans don't give a damn about that though. You Clearly. Know you know what? You know what? It's gonna happen. There's gonna be an AI Frank Ocean. <laughs> you see where we, we, we see where get AI. AI. All right, I'm I'm on board now. Bro. Let's get an AI Frank Ocean. Listen to the full episode. Link below.